who said, listen, boss, if we get five boxers into finals, will you do what we've been doing? And that put a red stripe in your hair. And Terry said, if we get five in, he said, I will definitely put the red stripe in. And they've got six, and they're guaranteed a gold medal already. So, hence the uh, peculiar hairstyle by our Terry Edwards. But here we go, the very first final in the boxing tournament in Melbourne 2006. It's the 51 kilogram division. It's the flyweights. It's Jackson Van Tonder Choke against Don Gareth Broadhurst from England. Broadhurst, 22 years of age, shorter and stockier, and his opponent has been pretty impressive all the way through. Jackson Choke from South Africa, just 20 years of age, from Islami Tempisa, and he got to the uh, semi final of the Commonwealth Championships in Glasgow last year, where he was defeated by uh, a gentleman from Botswana. And it was the same gentleman from Botswana that uh, Don Broadhurst got past to get here. Good start, I think, required by Don Broadhurst. He's short, he's chunky, he loves to counter punch, and uh, he's upright, but he's got very fast hands. And Richie, he takes no nonsense, does he? No, he certainly doesn't. And uh, he's a very tricky guy, the South African. Box on the back foot, brings his opponent onto the punches, and Don Broadhurst can't afford to fall short tonight. Today, Jim, he's got to step in. Step in range and deliver those shots fast and furious from Don Broaders today. Well, he's done exactly that. Just a minute gone and Broaders will have the upper hand. But that uh, lead has immediately been cancelled out by Jackson Van Tonto Shoki. Both of them got buys in their opening uh, contest. Shoki came through against men from Sri Lanka, Guyana and Uganda. And Broaders are perhaps the tougher side of the draw. Had to come through against the home favourite Bradley Hoare from Australia. And the teenager from Northern Ireland, Ryan Lindbergh, who gave him quite a contest. And then the excellent Indian, Yatender Kumar, whom he uh, outclassed 31-26 in a bruising semi-final. That was a great left hand into the body there by uh, Don Broadhurst, Richie. I'm surprised that didn't score. Yeah, so am I, Jim. But uh, we've seen it many times throughout this tournament. Punches that we thought had landed and they hadn't registered. But Choke is just turned back to orthodox. He's a talented boy. He can go from South Ball to orthodox. And he seems to be comfortable being an orthodox. But um, for me... I found Choke to be better actually boxing as a southpaw, but I think he's just trying to confuse Broadhurst here. His punches were falling a little bit on the short side, and it was allowing Broadhurst to step in and close that gap. That was a little better from Choke, but it didn't land. Remember, you've got to land with sufficient force, and the punch has to be delivered with the knuckle part of the glove to impress the judges at ringside, and right at the end, they were sufficiently impressed to award another shot to Don Broadhurst, and that was a wonderful round the corner shot by Broadhurst. That was a little bit early on in the round, but a nicely well-paced, competent round by Don Broadhurst. Yeah, lovely sweeping right hand over the top there from Don. Got his feet into range, backed his man in the corner, and delivered a perfect shot. He's 4-1 up in this round, and uh, he's boxing very well at, this, at, at the moment, uh, Jim, and that's what he's got to keep doing. Step on the gas, feet in range, and, and land the shots hopefully in twos and threes. The South Africans came here with uh, nine boxers. They've got two through the finals. England, one of the half dozen countries who came with a full complement of 11. And they have got uh, two guaranteed bronze medals. One guaranteed gold because of Jamie Cox's walkover. But they're hoping for five more gold in the ring. And Don Broadhurst is going in the right direction. Good start by Don Broadhurst, hugely disappointed when he didn't make the Athens Olympic Games. Uh, made up for that by taking a, a bronze medal in the European Silver Champion uh, Senior Championships the following year, which is a pretty tough thing to do. Not too many British or Irish boxers get that far. And Broadhurst is hooking quite beautifully. One of our Australian uh, commentating colleagues before us said that somebody had more hooks than a pirate's convention. What a great <laughs> expression. He's boxing well here, Jim. He's stepping into range. That left up to the body. He's doing excellent. Choke is as an orthodox boxer. He isn't half as effective as when he is a southpaw. Well, Broadhurst delivered that uh, left hook to the body and then came across with a wonderful right cross. And look at that midway through the second round. And it's Broadhurst and England. Fairly well in command. Only three gold medals won in this division before in the Commonwealth Games by England. The great John Lyon in 86. Dave Needham back in 70, and Patrick Palmer away back in 1934. And Broadhurst is going about his work with a great degree of relish and a huge level of technical skill. Choki back to Southpaw. Broadhurst covering up well and then launching those little two-fisted attacks. Wonderful defence for Broadhurst. Choki hasn't tried a body shot at all, and the body shots have been what have counted for Don Broadhurst, Rich. Yeah, he's boxing superbly well here, Broadhurst. Twos and threes to the body, and especially with the right hand, 
has been most his most successful shot to the body, but he also switches the attack to the to the head also, and he's boxing superbly well on the front foot. Well, the former world super featherweight professional champion Barry Michael sitting just in front of us, commentating for the host broadcaster, turned round and has given his pal Richie Wood all the thumbs up. So one world champion to another meets with the uh, approval, I think, of Barry Michael. This performance by Don Broadhurst. Three seconds to go. What a good run by Broadhurst. Won the first 4-1. He's won the second 10-3. And Jackson Choke is going to have to go some if he's not going to settle for silver. Yeah, Broadhurst here is boxing extremely well. He's stepping into range. He punches to the body. Shots to the body are getting through. And uh, I just think uh, he's, he's just took this fight by storm, Jim. I can't believe um, how easy it is for Broadhurst to find the target here against Choke. I, th I thought he'd be much more elusive, but thankfully he's not. And Broadhurst is ahead. Choke is going to have to put the foot on the gas in the second half of this contest because that is a very commanding lead. Broadhurst and England. Is it going to be Broadhurst, England? And Commonwealth Games gold medal, I have a feeling it is, unless he uh, lets the wheels come off. Two terrific rounds by Broadhurst thus far. Broadhurst conceding everything in terms of height and reach. But the South African has had to concede everything in terms of skill. What a wonderful fast right hand round the corner from Broadhurst. And look at that. He's done exactly what he needed at the start of the round. And he's opened up an even larger gap. 16-4 now to Broadhurst. Had a great 2005. Boxed in the World Championships. And then just before he came here in 2006, he got a, a silver medal in the Strandia Cup in Bulgaria. And to do that, he had to beat the top men from Ukraine, Uzbekistan, and lost in the final to the outstanding Bulgarian Salim Salimov. So Broadhurst has had a tough, tough build up to this one. And Richie, it's paying off. Oh, superb. Superbly well. Yeah, Choke here is conceding his height and reach. He's crouching down. And that's suiting Don Broadhurst because he can get that left up to the body. And he just landed a great shot there. Oh, super stuff. But you know something? Broadhurst is capable of ending this bus before the end of the third round on the RSCO rule. And let us just remind you, dear viewer. And if a boxer gets 20 points up before the end of the third round, it's all over. Broadhurst needs another uh, five unanswered points, and he's done just that. And to do that in a Commonwealth Games final would be truly remarkable. He has outthought and outboxed and really outworked this leggy South African, who hasn't really been in it. And Broadhurst is going for this. Now, two more points, and Broadhurst is going to win gold before the end of the third round. It's suddenly crept up on the South African. He doesn't realise it. I'm oh. sure he does. He's on the receiving end. Broadhurst has done it. Sensational finish by Broadhurst. What a way to win Commonwealth gold. And everybody delighted for Broadhurst. Well, no wonder Terry Edwards was happy enough to wear that silly red stripe in the hair. Uh, Dave Alloway equally delighted too. A terrific performance by Broadhurst. Wonderful opening round. Just eased his way into it. Opened up a gap in the second and took his man systematically apart in the third round to give England a hugely deserved gold medal in this division. Following in the footsteps of Patrick Palmer, Dave Needham and John Lyon. And what a terrific third round it was. What a great performance to win, him, to win a, a Commonwealth Games gold medal. Outscoring your opponent by 20 points really is a remarkable achievement. And uh, congratulations go to Don Broder. Superb. Well, we looked at the draw and they thought if he gets past the Aussie, he's got the little guy from Northern Ireland and then the Indian. He got past them all. And more importantly, he's got past the man in the final. Confirmation. No, Jim, I thought it was going to be a difficult contest for him, but oh, not to be. Well, Broadhurst, who had to overcome the very serious challenge in this division for the last few years of the other of the Langley twins, he's uh, done absolutely magnificently. Don Gareth Broadhurst, look at that, win a referee stop contest, outscored round three, and 30 seconds remaining, and he cannot stop smiling. He could run around that ring for the rest of the afternoon. We've got more action to come, and Broadhurst... Well, bless his wee socks, he looks absolutely daisy fresh. Terry Edwards will be hugely, hugely pleased. He said that he'd hoped for uh, eight medals. He's got eight medals. And with Jamie Cox being guaranteed a gold medal already due to a walkover because of the withdrawal of his uh, 
opponent from Lesotho. That was one goal in the bag, and now there's two goals in the bag. And as I say, Barry Michael, the former Australian World Super Featherweight Champion, is down below me, just giving me the thumbs up sign as if to say he really approves of that performance. Well, the boxing tournament has been terrifically well attended all the way through. We have seen some excellent boxing, occasionally iffy scoring, but from the point of view of the English side that came here, they simply could not complain. And Don Broadhurst has started off the day of the finals, and this was bout number 216 out of 226, and Broadhurst went about his work with rare relish. A 4-1 opening round, a 10-3 Second round, 11-1 and a 25-5, 20-point gap. And the gold medalist is with Gary Richardson.